Welcome along everyone to your hit class tonight. Your very, very last hit class of the year. And I'm back. My name is Lou. Hopefully some of you remember my face from earlier in the year. And I'm joined by the fabulous Alex who has been with you through the whole entire year of 2020 for our hit classes. So we're back together for one final one before we get into 2021. And we do have some very exciting things coming up there, but we'll we'll save that for, for next year. So this final hit class that we've got is all about giving no-shows the boot this Christmas with Timely Pay. How can we completely kick them out of your salon so you don't have to deal with them anymore? Because none of us like no-shows. And we all know that this time of year around Christmas, your time is so precious. So let's get them out of the way so that you can be making the most out of every appointment slot possible in your calendar. So what we've got on the agenda today, just two main things. So the first thing is how to deal with a no-show should you have one. And we've got something we're going to talk about today, which is pretty exciting. And I'm, I have a feeling some of you have been looking forward to this, but it's no-show protection. So Alex is going to run us through the details on that and how you can use that to really um, safeguard your business in case you do get a no-show. Then what I'm going to run through is how to actually prevent no-shows in the first place and a few tips and tricks on what you can do in Timely to make sure that we, you know, avoid as many as possible. So hopefully that'll cover all your bases and we'll have you whizzing through Christmas with a completely full calendar ready to take on 2021. Fingers crossed. Nice. Awesome. Thank you, Lou, for your wonderful introduction and also thanks for coming back. Oh, thanks for having me back. I'm sorry that I left you for a few months. It's okay. I didn't feel too ditched. I had the one with Beth. You did. But yes, um, Lou is completely right. We are talking about no-shows today. And I want to talk to you about no-show protection. So if you've been keeping up to date with Timely, you'll know that we've been working on a no-show protection feature. This feature is basically about making sure that when your clients book online, they don't have to pay a deposit, but they do need to put in their card details. And by them doing that, they're not paying when they book, but if they don't show up, then you're charging them. So some people who don't want to take deposits, they might prefer this. Um, and I do have some good news for you, which is that I have a demo for it today. We were hoping to get it out this year and we've been working so hard to get it out this year. But we've had a couple of last bugs um, that we need to deal with until the feature is completely ready. And if you know anything about Timely, we do like to make sure that things are perfect when they get out, particularly around this time of the year. We don't want anyone dealing with anything buggy. It's your busiest time of the year. So we are releasing it early next year. We're going to continue working on it so it can come out as one of our first releases in January. But for now, I have a demo for you to show you how it works. So the difference between no-show protection and taking a deposit is obviously with a deposit, they are paying a percentage or a fixed amount online when they book. And that's how they secure that booking with you. Now with a no-show protection feature, which involves card capture, the client would have to, and I mean have to, this is how they get the booking, put their card details in and agree to your cancellation policy saying that if they don't turn up or if they cancel inside of your comp your cancellation policy being, let's say you give them 24 hours and they cancel an hour beforehand, that means that you can apply your cancellation policy to their booking and keep your deposit or actually charge them for the full amount. So whether it be you charge 50%, whether it be you charge for the whole service, you name it, maybe you want to charge um, a dollar amount or a pound amount, that's absolutely fine. You can do all of that. Now, anything that you think that I should mention, Lou, before I get onto the demo? No, I've got far more to add in the second half, but I reckon let's show them what it's going to look like. Take it away. I am just going to quickly share my screen. And you'll see a very cute picture of Lou and I. <laughs> so this is a timely pay feature, everyone. So if you are currently with any of our other payment gateways, I highly recommend that you get on Timely Pay because this is where all the magic is happening. Timely Pay is absolutely amazing. And all of these features, no, no show protection, 
taking deposits, card capture, um, cardless checkout, it's all on Timely Pay. We also have some of the best rates in the market. We're better rates than PayPal and we match Stripe dollar for dollar. So definitely look into Timely Pay. It's super easy to set up and that's where all the features are. So without further ado, let's get into this demo for no-show protection. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to setup and then we're going to go to online payments. Now you can see here, I can either charge a fixed amount, a percentage, or I can have no charge if that's what I wanted to do. But I definitely recommend that you charge. So percentage, see I put 50% here, but you could easily charge 90, 95, 100%, whatever you want to do if you want to if someone no shows and you want to charge them for all of that time, it is your prerogative to do that as long as you put all of that cancellation details inside here so that your client knows what they're um, what knows what they're signing up for, then you are good to go. So it really is as simple as that. Now I'm going to show you how this would work in your calendar. So what we're doing here is we're just in the calendar on timely on our desktop and a client hasn't turned up. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump in and cancel that appointment. Now, once we're there, all we need to do is cancel the appointment. We know that it's a 50% cancellation fee that the client has agreed to. And you can see here, if I click view cancellation policy, that this client agreed to this policy on the 2nd of June at 10.45 p.m. So that means we are good. We're good to go to charge this. So we're canceling. So helpful. Yeah, so we good. It means that. you've got proof. You know when they agree to this, you are good to go. So what we're doing here is we're just going to click save. This is exactly what it is. The outstanding balance. And you can see that the invoice here is created successfully. Now this client has actually saved two cards on file. And they've got their MasterCard being the default for, um, like for their, their default card, basically. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to cancel. Sorry, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cancel this appointment and I'm going to send her um, the payment text to say, hello, we've just charged you a cancellation fee and I'm going to instantly charge her card as well. So I hope that makes sense. So I'm charging her Visa, sorry, I'm charging her MasterCard. That's the one I've got tapped. I'm going to send her a text message now, this I recommend doing um, just because some people be like, what's this charge from? If they've forgotten, for example, if it's a simple mistake, they've forgotten, you might want to send them a text saying, hi, you've been charged a late cancellation fee or something like that. Some smaller businesses, you may want to make this, give them a call. But for some businesses, you may want to send a text. It completely depends on you and how much time you have. And sending that away. And there you go, your client's card has been charged successfully. Now, this really is as simple as it is. So that's what it's going to look like that is coming out in the new year. Um, and I'm really excited for you to start using it. Now, Lou next is going to be talking about the most important thing for this, which is card capture. If you want to be able to have no-show protection, then you're going to need card capture. And there's something else to say about no-show protection. If you have a deposit system in place, you can't have no-show protection. So you have to choose one or the other. Mm. So if you're a deposit type of business, you want people paying upfront, then that's fantastic. You know you've got that money straight away upfront. With no-show protection, you don't have that money upfront, but you can charge them later. So it's an either or kind of scenario. So pick the one that is best for your business but you will need card, card capture for no-show protection. And I will pass on to Lou now. Thank you. Amazing. All right. Now, before I get into my wee demo, I wanted to run through a few details around how, first of all, you can prepare for no-show protection, but also the benefits of a few other things around card capture. And then just a few bits and pieces on how we can actually try to avoid these no-shows altogether. Yeah. So... I know a few of you out there may be feeling a little bit gutted about it not being ready this side of Christmas, but honestly, the 
best possible thing you can do is start to set up this card detail capture. Mm -hmm. So what will happen when you set up this card capture in your, in your system is that clients will start to save their cards now and agree to your cancellation um, terms for your appointment. So that as soon as we've released it, everyone is good to go. You have their card details there. They have agreed to your terms and conditions already. So for those future appointments that you're booking now for let's say in January, you know you're sorted and you can start using this. So highly, highly recommend if you've got the chance to set this up now, do it. So just a wee bit around um, capturing those card details. So there's actually more benefits than just being able to use this no show protection. What you'll also be doing is meaning that your clients, the next time they go to book online with you, and if you are someone who would like to take deposits, if you capture card details, you can have your client's details automatically there when they go to book. So it's making that, you know, that client experience a little bit smoother, your card details automatically enter. Don't have to run and go get my card from wherever it is, which mine is always lost around the house. <laughs> Not good. Um, so that's a real bonus just around improving that client experience. But the other thing, and I would say that this is probably my favorite part, is the fact that you can do contactless payments in store. So yeah. if you capture card details, you're prepped for no-show protection. Mm -hmm. Your clients are going to have their card details saved online if they do go to purchase something online, gift voucher, deposit, whatever it might be. And you can offer cardless payments in store. So rather than your client coming up to that front desk, you can just click a few buttons. And just the same way that your payments come out with Uber, it will come out for their service that they've had with you. Yeah. So. This is something that obviously is quite new to the industry, but we really have been hearing some amazing feedback and those businesses out there that are wanting to become quite, you know, be the ones that are quite innovative, 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 innovative. And, yeah, innovative and really, you know, start to change the way that we offer our services. This is, this is how we do it. This yeah. is improving client experience like nothing else. This is going to make you look super high tech and it literally yeah. involves you clicking a couple of buttons and timely and all your clients will be so impressed by the fact that they don't even have to touch an FPOS machine anymore. Absolutely. Absolutely. Super hygienic too. Yes, very so, nice. Totally. That is what, um, <laughs> that is the benefits of saving card details. There's honestly no downside at all. All it is is that your clients tick that button they agree to your cancellation terms and then they book their appointment. So I'll show you in one second how to set that up in Timely now. It'll take you 30 seconds when you do it. But just before we go into that, I wanted to talk a wee bit around deposits as I'll show you how to set that up at the same time. So this is really how we start to, you know, avoid no-shows in the first place. Now, I just wanted to do a wee disclaimer. Deposits are so normal. Deposits oh, are honestly, they are everywhere. They are absolutely everywhere. Whenever, you know, whenever you go to book accommodation online, whether it's an Airbnb or a hotel, you pay for that before you have had that service. Same with if you're buying clothes online, you pay for them before you have them in your hands. It is so normal everywhere else other than this particular industry, which it actually is, at, it's becoming normal. Mm -hmm. So for those of you that are a little bit on the fence, Clients are used to it. They're experiencing yeah, yeah. it all over the show in their day-to-day -day life. So it is something that is completely acceptable to ask for. That is my speech on that. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so deposits, basically what it means is that it's, it's a really great way for you to get your clients to commit to that service with you, to commit to the appointment and really to ensure that you're not going to be out of pocket if they do end up canceling or, or not showing up, um, canceling super late. It's a great one for that as you might not have time to grab from your wait list and fill that appointment. And so, yeah, it basically means you're not gonna be out of pocket, especially through this, you know, this Christmas season when your time is so precious. Yeah. Um, so make sure you're gonna get paid for your time and make sure that your clients are committed to coming in. And it's a super simple way for you to command that respect from them from the very, very get go. You are valuing your own services. Cool. Should we show them how to do it, Alex? Yes. I'm already ready. Beautiful. So the first thing you're going to do, jump up to that setup tab. And then from there, click your online payments option. 
Now, just pausing here, that very top section that you see is where you are going to tick um, for card capture. So when you tick it, it activates card capture. And this means that when clients go through that booking process, they will need to save their card and also agree to any terms and conditions that you have there. So that's good for the no-show protection and obviously means you can offer that cardless, um, cardless payments. Cool. Now, the next thing you'll see in here and just something to mention is another really handy way to reduce no-shows. You can include a link in your emails to your clients, your um, confirmation emails where they can change their booking. So this here, it's much better to enable, to allow your clients to change their booking rather than have them not show altogether. And sometimes clients feel a little bit funny about calling you and saying, hey, I need to cancel or I need to change. So if you give them this link, it's empowering them to do that admin themselves and to also actually take the time to you know, adjust that appointment so that you are not going to be um, the one that is left yeah, suffering for that. So that is awesome. And you can obviously set the time, the time frame there. A lot of people are really nervous on talking on the phone these days. So letting your clients have the power to cancel outside of your cancellation policy and just and just let you know so that you've got that space, like in this policy, 24 hours before an appointment. That is a decent amount of time in the Christmas period to put a post on Facebook and to fill that appointment or to go onto your wait list and fill it that way too. Absolutely. Well, waitlist was the other thing I was going to say. If you have, if you are not already using waitlist, jump on them. It means that you get to capture every single opportunity of a client coming into your business. And then if someone does end up changing their appointment or canceling within that window that you've set, which here we've said 24 hours, you've got 24 hours to grab from your waitlist and slot someone in. So the two of them will work really beautifully, harmoniously together. Nice. Synergy. All right. So down here, we've got our cancellation terms, which you can add in. You've got the default one set up as well. And then the next thing I wanted to run you through, this is where you can set up your deposit as a blanket rule across your services. So in here, we're saying for all online bookings, we would like to require, let's say, a certain percentage, maybe 50%, or it could be a certain amount but just a wee um, piece of advice for those that might be new to deposit, it's a really good place to start is just doing a percentage across all your services. It keeps it all quite even and fair. Um, and it means that you, it, it, it takes sort of the guesswork out of what you should be offering. So popping a wee percentage on there is a nice handy trick to use if you're just starting, starting out. Awesome. All right, so I think that's our demo. Almost, almost. You got Final one more piece. To go, Lou. Final piece. Now, I just want to pause for a moment. We're stepping out of the shoes of a staff member, business owner, employee. You're stepping out of those and you're stepping right into the shoes of a client here. So this here, this screen is when a client has gone through and booked online with you. What we're going to, what we're going to do is run through what they would experience. So we've got our cancellation policy. After I've picked my service, my date, my time, I tick agree to that cancellation policy saying that I can't cancel within the 48 hours of that service. Continue, and then I'm taken to my pricing page. So I can see here that they have a, is that a 50% deposit that we've got? Yep, 50% deposit on one pound will be <laughs> exactly that. So from there, we're going to click pay and our card details, we can enter those in and you'll see right down the bottom on this page, I've got save my card for future payments. Now, if I try to pay here, it will actually stop me and say that a saved card is required for me to make this booking. So that there's going to make sure that your clients are saving that card. So you get all those benefits that we've run through. Tick that and paid. That is it. So, so easy. Simple. It's so simple. And this gets you set up so you can have deposits for now. Even if you don't like deposits, everyone's doing them at Christmas time because no one wants to have no shows at this time. After a COVID year of shutdowns, everyone needs to make money. So put in your deposits, get that card capture. And then if you're not into deposits for an forever thing, then just move on to no show protection. Absolutely. Next year. 
And do you know what? I love to think about it in the way that, you know, your clients are going to pay for your service, whether it's now or later. But what you're doing is you're helping them make it a priority. That's yeah. really as simple as it is. So if they prioritize your service, it won't matter if they pay for that deposit now or later and it'll be cheaper on the day. Better for upsell, just saying. Very, no, very true, Lou. And also, this is a very good side benefit, but deposits weed out the nightmare clients. <laughs> Yeah. Trust me, your nightmare clients who ask a million questions, keep on cancelling, keep on no-showing, they never want to pay up front. So it does weed out the clients that you don't want. It weeds out the time wasted. So deposits is fantastic. But if that's not for you, definitely no show protection. And I'm very awesome. excited for you to get to try that out next year. Awesome. Nice. Oh, thanks so much, everyone. That was an absolute treat to have you all join us. Um, I've missed my beautiful hit class family on a Monday. So thanks for having me back. Um, I think we need to say Merry Christmas and yes. Happy New Year. Absolutely. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, New Year everybody. Um, happy Eid, Happy Hanukkah. I hope you are having an amazing holiday period. And hopefully you've got family around you. If not, I hope that you've got Skype and Zoom and Facebook Messenger all set up so that you can see your family from all around the world because not all of us will be together, but hopefully we can be there in spirit. Absolutely. Oh, thanks everyone. It's been awesome. And we'll catch you all soon. Make sure you drop any questions you've got and we'll jump onto them shortly as well. Sounds good. Thank you, everybody. See you later and see you next year. Bye.